Barney's Little Lessons, Going to My Big Bed, A Little Help with a Big Change. Emily loved her crib. She loved the pretty pink sheets, the soft and warm blankets, and all of her stuffed animal friends. Emily's crib was her very own cozy place. Then one day, her mommy and daddy told her they had a big surprise. Emily was going to move to a big bed of her very own. Why do I have to move, Emily asked. You are not a baby anymore, Emily, said her mommy. You need a bigger bed because now you're my big girl. When her parents tucked her in to sleep that night, Emily was still not sure she liked this new bed. I can't sleep, she whispered. I want my crib. Then something magical happened. Don't be sad, Emily, said a cheerful voice. That's a nice big bed you have. It was Barney. All of your sleepy time friends can fit in this nice big bed with you, said BJ. And you have a purple blanket and big huggable pillows too, said Barney. Purple, big, and huggable. Just like you, Barney, giggled Baby Bop. A big bed can be big fun, said Barney. You can pretend your bed is a tent, and you're camping out, said BJ. Ooh, I think I can see the moon, whispered Baby Bop. And stars, said Emily. But do you know what big beds are best for, asked Barney. Bedtime stories, cheered Baby Bop and BJ. Read us one, please, Barney. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Emily, Barney pretended to read. And she didn't think she wanted to sleep in a big bed, giggled Baby Bop, because she didn't know what it would be like, added BJ. But she did like it very, very much, added Emily, with a yawn. She loved her big bed a lot. And with that, little Emily snuggled into her nice big bed and fell fast asleep. Sweet dreams, Emily, whispered Barney, BJ, and Baby Bop as they tiptoed out the door. Barney's Little Lessons Going to My Big Bed A Little Help with a Big Change <laughs>